Let's do computer exercise twelve. We estimate a model relating math scores to whether a student attends a Catholic high school and other control variables. In part one, how many students are in the sample? What percentage of these students attend a Catholic high school? We use the summarize command to find that there were seven thousand four hundred and thirty students in the sample. We use the tabulate command to find the percentage of each category of the variable. Four hundred and fifty-two students, or six point zero eight percent of the total students, attend a Catholic high school. In part two, we estimate the above equation by OLS. What is the estimate of beta one? What is its ninety-five percent confidence interval? The OLS estimate of beta one is one point four eight. The ninety-five percent confidence interval is from zero point six six to two point three zero. In part three, using whether parent is Catholic as an instrument for whether a student attends a Catholic high school, estimate the reduced form for the Catholic high school. What is the T statistic for the IV? Is there evidence of a weak instrument problem? The first stage regression shows that the IV is statistically correlated with the endogenous variable, with a T statistic of twenty-five point seven zero. The F statistic is. Six hundred sixty point five six, much higher than ten, the rule of thumb. So there is no evidence of a weak instrument variable. In part four, we estimate the above equation by IV. How do the estimate and ninety-five percent confidence interval compare with the OLS quantities? The two-stage least squares estimate is four point one two. The IV estimate is higher than the OLS estimate. The ninety-five percent confidence interval of the IV estimate is from one point two four to six point nine nine. The IV confidence interval is wider than the OLS confidence interval. But the former does not entirely contain the latter. In part five, test the Lau hypothesis that whether a student attends a Catholic high school is exogenous. What is the p-value of the test? We perform the endogeneity test in this part. In data, we can type the command is that endogenous. After the two-stage least squares estimation to do the test, or we can do it manually with two steps. In the first step, we estimate the reduced form equation for the possible endogeneity variable by OLS and obtain the residuals new two. In the second step, we add new two to the structural equation and test for the significance of new two by OLS. Both methods lead to a p-value of 0.06. We fail to reject the null hypothesis of exogeneity at the 5% level. There is no evidence that Catholic high school is endogenous. In part six, suppose you add the interaction between Catholic high school and mother's education. To the above model, why is it generally endogenous? Why is parent Catholic times mother education a good IV candidate for Catholic high school times mother education? Because Catholic high school is endogenous, the product of it and the mother's education is also endogenous. The IV for the Catholic high school is whether the parent is Catholic. Naturally, 
the IV for the interaction is the parent Catholic times mother's education. In part 7, before you create the interactions in part 6, first find the sample average of mother's education and create Catholic high school times mother education bar and parent Catholic times mother education bar. Add the first interaction to the model and use the second as an IV. Is the interaction term statistically significant? We generate the interaction term and the IV for the interaction term. Then we use the IV regress command to estimate the model by two stage least squares. We type IV regress followed by the method we use two stage least squares. Then we write the outcome variable mass 12 and the exogenous variables log family income, mother's education, and father's education. After that, we put the endogenous variable and the additional exogenous variables in a parenthesis. In this case, we have two endogenous variables, Catholic high school and the interaction term between Catholic high school and mother's education. We also have two additional instrumental variables for them. There is an equal sign between them. The two-stage least squares estimate for the interaction term is minus 4.88 and it is statistically significant at the 1% level. In part 8, we will compare the coefficient on Catholic high school in 7 to that in part 4. Is including the interaction important for estimate the average partial effect? Comparing the estimates for the Catholic high school, we find that it becomes much larger after adding the interaction term. Including the interaction term is important for estimating the average partial effect. Let's solve computer exercise 13. Our interest is in determining how weekly hours worked to change with the number of children. All women in the sample have at least two children. In part one, estimate the equation by OLS and obtain the heteroscedasticity robust standard errors. Interpret the coefficient on kids. Discuss its statistical significance. The OLS estimation shows that one more kid is estimated to lower the mother's work hours by 2.3 hours per week. The heteroscedasticity robust standard error is 0.12. The t-statistic is minus 20.13. And its p-value against a two-sided alternative is 0 to 3 decimal places. In part 2, the variable that is proposed as an instrumental variable is the same sex. A binary variable equal to 1 if the first two children are of the same biological sex. What do you think is the argument for why it is a relevant instrument for kids? Assume that parents prefer to have a son and daughter. If their first two children are of the same gender, they are likely to have more children than the couples whose first two kids are of opposite biological sex. So the instrumental variable should be positively related to the number of kids. It can be verified in the first stage regression. In part 3, we estimate the reduced form equation for kids by OLS. The coefficient on the same sex is 0 0.07 implying that the women 
whose first two children are of the same sex have 0.07 more kids. In other words, for 100 women whose first two kids are of the same gender, they have 7 more kids than 100 women whose first two kids are of the opposite gender on average. The difference is statistically significant at the 1% level. The F statistic is 47, which is larger than the rule of sum 10. The story from part 2 holds. In part 4, can you think of mechanisms by which same sex is correlated with the error term mu in the equation in part 1? If the first two children are of the same sex, they can share clothes and toys. If they are of the opposite biological sex, they may not share clothes. As a result, the expenditures on the children are higher for families with opposite gender kids. The mothers may have to work more to make ends meet. If this is true, the same sex variable is correlated with the other term in the structural equation. In part 5, is it legitimate to check for the exogeneity of same sex by adding it to the regression in part 1 and testing its significance? Explain. No, the structural equation suffers from omitted variable bias, and the OLS estimates are not consistent, including the estimate for the same sex variable. The tests are not valid. In part 6, using same sex as an IV for kids, obtain the IV estimates of the equation in part 1. How does the kids coefficient compare with the OLS estimate? Is the IV estimate precise? We estimate the model by two stage least squares and compare the estimates in a table. The IV estimate for the kids' effect on the mother's hours of work doubles. One more kid reduces the mother's hours of work by 4.9 hours per week. The robust standard error in two stage least squares is much larger than the OLS standard error for the estimate. The p value is 0 0.105 against a two sided alternative or 0 0.053 against a one sided alternative. It is not as precise as the OLS estimate. In part 7, we add multi second as an instrument obtain the F statistic from the first stage regression and determine whether same-sex and multi-second are sufficiently strong. We use two instrumental variables for the kids. We estimate the first stage regression by OLS and do the F test for the significance of the two IVs. The F statistic is 119. They are sufficiently strong IVs for kids. In part 6, using same-sex and multi-second both as instruments for kids, how does the two-stage least squares estimate compare with the OLS and IV estimates from the previous parts? The two-stage least squares estimate with two IVs is minus 2.99, and it is statistically significant at the 5% level against a two-sided alternative. It is much more precise than the two-stage least squares estimate with one IV. The estimate implies that one more kid reduces the mother's hours of work by three hours per week. Other things echo. In part 9, using the estimation from part 8, is there strong evidence that kids is endogenous in the hours equation? We do the endogeneity test by typing E stat endogenous 
after the two-stage least squares estimation. We could not reject the null hypothesis of exogeneity. There is no evidence Kitts is endogenous in the hours equation. We can also do it manually. We have the same conclusion. In part 10, how many over-identification restrictions are there? Does the over-identification test pass? There is one over-identification restriction because the number of additional IVs is 2 and the number of endogenous variables is 1. We type E stat over ID after the two-stage least squares estimation to do the test. The IVs pass the over-identification test with a p-value of 0 0.48. We can also do the test manually and reach the same result. Thank you very much for completing all the computer exercises with me in the past few days. Hope I can see you in the next chapter. Take care. Thank you for watching this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. See you next time.